my turn now. It's not your turn. Gang it! Nah, but oh, no, 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 no. What is good, y'all? Welcome back to another I'm video. Which... <laughs> what is good, y'all? Welcome back to another video with your boy, Mother City Made No Be Nonsense. Today's video, she nigga. We got, what if we covered the Sahara with the solar panels? She nigga. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? You got teach your mother city in this bit. You know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all niggas ain't learned nothing in school. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here to teach y'all niggas some geography. You know what I'm saying? Because shit, nigga, I be acing geography, nigga. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I be getting that bit A++, nigga. What is niggas talking about? Let's get it. Oh, shit. I almost stopped the camera. This video is made possible by Brilliant. Learn something new every day for 20% off by being one of the first 200 people to sign up at brilliant.org slash real life lore. More energy will fall on the world's desert the Sahara in six is hours in, um, the entire world will consume over the next year. The Sahara the Desert is, the is well known for being the world's largest hot Asia? desert, but it's probably a lot bigger than you even realize. It's nearly the same size as China. It spans across 10 different countries. Is there really 1 billion people in China, bro? And it gets absolutely massacred by sunlight. This is a map that shows annual is sunshine hours across in the world. China? There are some notable hot spots in North America, is South America, and Southern Africa, China? but nowhere <laughs> as much as the Sahara Desert. Oh, and is that what Sam is saying? Most of China's size jungle <laughs> land gets more than 3,600 oh, hours of sunlight a year, Wait, and even that big chunk China? China? is this other chunk that gets more than 4,000 <laughs> hours a year. I don't for understand your language, bro. That's four times the amount of annual sunlight that Germany gets. I don't understand what you're saying. Most of this is because the Sahara Desert is a pretty much directly along the Tropic of Cancer, which means the sun for a lot of the year is pretty much directly over it, and B, clouds pretty much never form or even exist over the entire desert, which means all that sunlight is never interrupted. The Sahara, consequently, is the best location anywhere on Earth to place solar panels and develop solar farms. So it then begs the question, what if we covered the entire desert with solar panels? How much energy would we actually be able to produce, and how would this change our planet? Let's take a deep dive. For starters, let's begin here. This is the Werzezet Solar Power Station in Morocco, the world's largest concentrated solar power plant currently in existence in a marvel of modern engineering. Once fully completed and operational, the plant will take up an area of 25 square kilometers and be capable of producing 582 megawatts of electricity. Oh, it will wow. even be capable of storing solar energy in the form of superheated molten salt. Oh, here it is, bro. for further production of electricity, even into the Okay, uh, bring, bring your books. After more than $9 billion into their solar energy objective, Morocco aims to create four additional plants similar to this one in the Sahara that will collectively create more than 2,000 megawatts of electricity production, which will be enough to provide for roughly 38% of all of Morocco's annual electricity needs. This huh. project will transform Morocco into the world's leading solar energy state. And as the only African country that currently has a power cable link to Europe, much of this energy will be exported for profit to the countries of the European Union. Wow, 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 This wow, energy wow. is created from just five relatively small plants. What okay. happens when we scale things up a bit and think bigger? One of the few organizations thinking about Sahara solar energy production in the future is the German energy company Desertec, which happens to be an investor of the Moroccan solar energy project. According to their research and data taken from the German Aerospace Center, a solar panel array of just this small size in the Sahara could power 100% of Germany's entire electricity needs. An array of this size could power the entire European Union, while an array of just this size could power the entire world's modern electricity needs at Gee, approximately bro. 18 trillion watts, give or take a bit. Considering that a typical solar panel generates roughly 350 watts of power, this Earth-powering array would encompass around 51.4 billion solar panels, and it would be roughly the same size as the U.S. state of New Mexico. Quite a large amount of land, but it's nothing when compared with the vastness of the Sahara, that also happens to be incredibly sparsely populated. Only about two and a half million people live across the Sahara, which means that its population density is on a par with Siberia, which further means that it's possible to set up huge solar farms like this without too much. I bet, I bet, uh, I think Jesus' name was, was like on the Sahara, right? Damn. I'll see you on the next video. No cam, no kissing. Tell me what the way I had to. Uh, uh.
Do y'all want vlogs back? Shit, I'll be in bed, bro. I'm starting a new channel. Subscribe to it.